Wait to see this. Marco Rubio burns Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez so bad, she's going to need some aloe vera. Before I get into this report, if you're new to the channel, I invite you to tap the red button down below to subscribe. Just hit that notification bell when you do. We want you to be the first to know when news breaks. Socialism is whack, all right? And it's time that it is ejected from our country. And Marco Rubio agrees and decided to rip AOC a new one for her ideology. If AOC loves socialism so much, then why doesn't she just move to Cuba? Okay? I heard the weather's nice there. Trending Politics has more. They say that Rubio went off on AOC recently, tearing her to pieces on Hannity for championing the evil ideology of socialism and claiming that it is good, but capitalism is irredeemable. She made the comments while speaking to Yahoo Finance. Here they are. Capitalism at its core, what we're, what we're talking about when we talk about that is the absolute pursuit of profit at all human, environmental, and social cost. That is what we're really discussing. And to me, that is not a redeemable system for us to be able to participate in for the prosperity and peace for the vast majority of people. So Marco Rubio went on with Sean Hannity and he took the opportunity to blow up on socialism and describe it as being about power and control, not affecting noble ideals. Watch. I'm not surprised by those comments. Those comments are now the mainstream of the Democratic Party. And either people believe that or they have to pretend they believe it. So their policies do. Um, you know, they woke up one day and I guess decided that Marxism was right all along and that the Cold War should have never ended. And I don't understand how people that feel that way don't just move to one of these other countries. There's so many other countries out there that actually agree with that sentiment about socialism being better than, than capitalism. In the real world, the world I come from, the neighborhood that I grew up in, the people I've grown up around, my family, capitalism is not these big corporations. The capitalism is the small business owner. It's the person that started it out of the you know, basement of their, of their home or their garage and now owns a small business and employs four people. That's not possible in any other system but the capitalist free enterprise system. That's the only system in the world where that's ever been possible, where someone can come here legally from another country and in a short period of time be the owner of a business and control their own economic destiny, provide for their families and jobs for others like them. So look, I think that's a great debate to have. We should have it. It's important to reinvigorate in every generation the belief in capitalism, but this, this sort of rejection of it and this embrace of socialism uh, by the Congresswoman you just said, I mean, that, that's now the mainstream of the Democratic Party. And that's a dangerous mainstream narrative for them to continue. He ended up by showing how the left has fused bad economics and cynical use of power to give them the control they desire, a level of control that pushes others to flee when they're able or suffer if they have to stay. Watch. Because socialism is not about economics. It's a big mistake that we make. Socialism is nothing to do, but it's about power. It's about the ability to control people. If you control where people work, if you control how much they make, if you control who owns what, then you can control what they say. You can control who they hire. You can control what they can sell, what they can do, what hours they can open. It's about power. It's about control. That's what socialism has always been about. Socialism ultimately is not possible. The socialism she's talking about and they talk about is really not possible without a government that actually controls every aspect of your life. Because and th that's why I think I don't think they're that troubled by inflation. I think they like the fact that inflation's run amok and that prices are high because that just means that they can come in with the argument that you see the market can't provide for your needs. Only a government check can. Only a government guarantee can. It, it plays right into their hands. But again, socialism is not about economics. It's about power. It's about control. That's why people flee it. That's why Miami, you know, has inherited 800,000 to a million people from Latin America who flee socialism because it fails and it destroys lives. He's right, both about socialism and people like AOC. It's an evil, corrupt ideology, and AOC should go try it out. Hopefully she has some fun in Venezuela or North Korea. AOC might have fooled the masses, but she hasn't fooled us at the next news network. And it's good to see Marco Rubio standing up against her push in Congress. We need to get politicians in there that back American jobs and American competition. We need to unleash the engines of this country and get the machine rolling again, not bog it down with socialism. So who do you agree with, AOC or Marco Rubio? Comment below, we'll see you at the next report. For the Next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi.
Thank you for watching that report. Yes, it is a new year, and of course, not much has really changed. The market seems to be as unstable as ever, and putting some of your assets into precious metals will keep your money away from that volatility, the volatility of the markets, and of course, inflation, Biden inflation. So you can sleep a little bit better at night with my friends at Noble Gold because this month they are giving away one of these beautiful one tenth ounce solid gold American Eagle coins free with any qualifying plan that you start. So talk to my friends, an expert at Noble Gold, and they will run through the options for keeping your money safe. No pressure, no hassle, no call centers. Simply visit noblegoldinvestments.com or give them a call at 877-646-5347. Again, 877-646-5347 or click the link in the description below. We'll see you at the next report for the next news network. I'm Gary Franchi. You possess the power to impact the global narrative. Please share this report. And to get more videos like this, become an X News subscriber by clicking the link below. Thank you for watching the next news network.